Our tale of tape for this bout is brought to you by TNNS. Jesus Pinedo is 26 years of age. That makes him two years older than the rising star, Gabriel Braga. Pinedo is also two inches taller. Both men weighed in at 145 pounds on the dot. Reach advantage on the arms favoring Pinedo. Both men with a 40 inch reach on the legs. Justin Roberts, to you. This next bout is set for three five minute rounds in the PFL featherweight division. Standing in the blue corner at five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 144 and one half pounds, with a record of 20 wins, five losses, and one draw. Fighting out of Lima, Peru, El Mudo, Jesus Pinedo. And his opponent, standing in the red corner at five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 144 and one half pounds, with a perfect record of nine victories and no losses. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Gabriel Braga. Your referee, Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson making his PFL season back. debut. Back up, back up, back up, back up. He'll oversee the action at 145 Stay pounds. Back. Points on the line, potentially six if either of these men can get Show a finish in round number Show one. Ready. Fight! Touch of the gloves and we are underway. Benedo on the southpaw stance, Braga in the green trunks and the orthodox. Kenny, we always put the emphasis on the guy who takes the fight on short notice, who wasn't quote unquote supposed to be here. But for Pinedo, he prepared for Joe Sung Bin and he gets Gabriel Braga instead. That's not an easy task. In, in many cases, it could be even worse because you set your mindset for a very particular style, very particular fighter. You have a completely different new opponent and preparing in under 24 hours is never ideal for anybody. Braga was here as the alternate, so he had to make weight anyway to be able to stay in that position. So the weight cut and the short notice sh shouldn't have been that big a deal for him physically. He was prepared to fight. It's really the technical aspect of it and facing a different opponent. Oh, a nice counter there by Pinedo. Pinedo has 11 knockouts on his record. He's got great hands, nice long reach. Sean Merriman. Former Pro Bowl linebacker, lights out potential here. Good to have one of the NFL greats in the building. I see Sean at the gym all the time. He's an avid, avid mixed martial artist. Pinedo doing a good job of utilizing his length here in this fight. Throwing some good long range strikes, trying to keep Braga on the outside. Definitely going to want to deal with that low calf kick yes. that Braga's developing, because those will pay dividends as the rounds carry on. Yeah. Already starting to show redness on the outside of that calf and shin. And that's the advantage and beauty of being so well rounded, of having so many tools on your tool belt. Braga really can do it all, and he knows how to adapt. And look, Braga has, he, he claimed the center of the smart cage early in this fight and hasn't really surrendered it much in the last two plus minutes. Yeah, that's exactly how Braga loves to fight. It's like a bull. There go the hands of Pinedo. Nice shell guard here by Braga so far. Yeah, Braga is a part of this new breed of mixed martial arts fighters. His dad, a Brazilian mixed martial arts legend, and he's been training since he was just a little kid. So he has a bunch of experience under his belt despite just the 9-0 record. And you see how defensively sound he is, always keeping those arms up. Hasn't taken a lot of clean shots at all. Well, that's the way that you can get that shell to come down, trying to dig to the body. And you see the adjustment by Pinedo coming at the three minute mark of round number one. He goes to the body with a kick as well. 
We didn't have pre-fight odds for this fight, but uh, Ian Parker, we're seeing some live odds developing. Brog at minus 250 is there. Is there any opportunity to place a wager live? Yeah, you know what? I think the value actually would be on Pinedo at the moment. Not that Brog is fighting bad. I just don't see how he's a minus 250 when the fight's been pretty even so far. I like Pinedo's jab and the leg kicks. Brog is kind of dictating the pace, but if you're going to talk value right now, two to one for Pinedo, I would roll with that. All right, some in-the-moment advice here from Ian Parker, our betting expert, best in the business. One minute remains in the first round. This is a regular season featherweight bout. Points on the line. Braga continues to chip away at the lead leg. Braga changing leads. Yeah, he knows how to fight from both stances. And I believe that lead right leg for Pinedo is really starting to show damage, not only visibly, but he's just not moving well on it anymore. And almost on cue that low kick takes Pinedo off his feet temporarily. Oh man, inside and outside, just nasty. Oh, nice left hand by Pinedo though, and a left hook from Braga. Perhaps a moment here for Pinedo, who's got to find something to disguise the pain in that leg. Nice long jab as well, and he moves right out. Braga comes forward with a kick, lances off the guard of Pinedo. And immediately Braga goes right back to work on the lead oh, leg twice. He's just tenderizing that lead leg. The Pinedo as Braga is. I'm not sure Braga's taking a backward step this entire fight. Yeah, it's crazy. Ooh, nice combination by Pinedo. Really bringing the heat here. Braga blocking most of them, though. Oh, that uppercut snuck in. Yep. Pinedo's got to stay aggressive here. Don't give Braga an opportunity to mount his own offense. Nice work by Pinedo, and there's a hook and a right hand from Braga, who gets sick of playing punching bag. <laughs> Well, Pinedo needs to come forward and land some big shots. I think those calf kicks are really taking its toll on that lead leg. I think he realizes he needs to go now. Even with the, the compromised lead leg, Pinedo at the very last part of that first round, Kenny, it felt like he had kind of figured out the spacing a little bit. Right. He was making that happen, Braga, swinging the counter punches and coming up just short. Oof. But that weapon yeah. is still very much at the disposal of Gabriel Braga. No question. Pinedo really feeling it. He's got that dead foot right now. That right leg, he's already stepping wrong on it. So be, be, be aware of him maybe stepping on his ankle. Now Braga comes in with a nice jab. Smart by Pinedo to step into that range of exchanges where the kicking is a lot more difficult. It's smothered and let his hands go and keep Braga on the defensive. Well, we checked it with Ian Parker uh, when Pinedo was at a plus 200. You can see the live odds have now swung into his favor. So the value was, according to the odds makers, on Pinedo at that time. Pinedo showing a lot of toughness here. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that's really bad. He's, dra he's almost dragging it. It's. Yeah, last time I checked, it's hard to win a fight with just one leg. Maybe for you, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Not for Jesus Pinedo. <laughs> Man, he is tough. Braga switching his stances now. And that is throwing Pinedo off. You see him kind of back away, not really sure how to address it. He's trying to pick the foot up to check it, but it's really hampering his ability to step into the pocket and let his hands go. Yeah, it sure He's is. He's having trouble putting weight on it. Braga absolutely recognizes it too, continues to get after yeah, that right calf, right shin. And Pinedo has switched up his stances now. So you gotta protect it somehow. Yep. But of course, a bad back leg, not ideal for generating power. The first part of round number two was very promising for Ooh. Pinedo, but Braga with that check hook. Might be turning the tide. Rio Jikudo looking on. Both of these men, potential future opponents for him. He'll be taking on 
Movlid Haibulayev led. Hey, how about the Swedish Denzel Sadabusi, 2022 PFL welterweight champ. Does his camps down here now at a little known gym called Extreme Couture. <laughs> <laughs> He's been a great addition to the gym, honestly. He's got such an amazing attitude. Ooh. Sharp combination there from Braga. This has been a fun fight to watch. Very technical, back and forth affair. A lot of nice feints and counters from both men. The live betting odds have swung back in the favor of Braga, so we've seen the change just in this round. And now he says, all right, you give me a different lead leg, I'll work on that one too. Yeah, Braga has done a number on both the legs of Pinedo. Especially that right leg. Oh. Ian Parker, Pinedo is once again a live dog. How live is he? You know what? Um, apparently, he can fight with no legs. If he comes forward <laughs> with that jab, it's kind of crazy. He literally just will not stop, and the power of Braga is not affecting Pinedo. He needs this break in between rounds. Uh, right now, Braga is rightfully the favorite, but hey, these two, these two guys are amazing. This is a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to the third round. Tell you what, that long reach of Pinedo still allowing him with a uh, somewhat immobile lower half to land some punches on Gabriel Braga. Final few seconds of round two, and we'll see a third frame when we return. Kenny, he's 24 years of age. He's less than 10 fights into his professional mixed martial arts career. And Gabriel Braga is already showing the kind of composure and patience and setting up things in the first round that are gonna pay dividends later in the fight. It's just, to the point you made earlier, it's an example of why this next generation of mixed martial artists is different. No question about it, man. It is scary, but it's also beautiful to watch, see that the crop of fighters that are coming up right now. PFL certainly did the right thing in proving uh, their decision to bring Braga back as, as a great choice. Nice counter strike moving backwards from Braga. Pinedo tried to blitz in with a couple of punches. And it takes two to tango. Pinedo really right there with him. You know, maybe doesn't have all the tools, but he's executing very well. He's showing a tremendous amount of toughness and patience and countering ability. And look, the second round, Pinedo started it out hurting Braga badly. And then the rest of the way, maybe Braga took control of the round later, but I don't know if he won the round. So we could be looking yeah. at one apiece here. Very technical fight, both guys, and it's a difficult fight to score. I mean, definitely thought Braga won the first round. Second round, just like you said, hard to distinguish. Yeah, and, and it's hard, you know, what are the judges looking at? You know, are they favoring the damage to the legs of Pinedo? Are they seeing that as the more impactful strikes? Or is it the counter shots of Pinedo? Ooh, nice return with the left hand from Braga. Fernando's had to kind of settle in almost to a square stance because they don't want to present either of those legs as the lead target for Gabriel Braga, who continues to stalk. Yeah, and Pinedo's kind of backing himself up against the cage now, which is showing to me that both legs are really compromised at this point. Very game though, Pinedo now pressing forward. Braga counter punching. Long left hand, cracking right hook. Oh, and a double from Gabriel Braga, who then moves the head. Goodness gracious, the skill set from these young fighters. Beautiful head movement here, Sean. It's a foreign concept for some of us. <laughs> It's like watching synchronized swimming or something. <laughs> I just don't understand it. <laughs> Ian Parker checking in once again. Braga back to minus 250. Is that appropriate? Uh, you know what? Pinedo's coming back. Sean, I know this is up your alley, this fight. These guys are not even thinking. They're just coming forward and swinging. Uh, you know what, though? He should be the favorite. I, I think it's going to come down a little bit. If Pinedo, if Pinedo can keep landing, he can bring it down, but Braga's leg kicks have just taken a toll on Pinedo. Oh, 
Pinedo's almost dragging that right leg like Quasimodo at this point. It's yep. unbelievable that he's even in here moving and landing shots in the in the pocket. Yeah, showing so much heart. This is Biagio Ali Walsh, grandson of the iconic boxer Muhammad Ali. He's now part of the PFL. Ninety seconds remain in this fight. Still a very technical, impressive battle. Well-timed counter strike from Braga. Ooh, beautiful hook. I'm not mad at it, but I'm a little bit surprised that Pinedo didn't go back to his takedowns here in round three. Might be a testament to just how much paint those legs are in or how compromised yeah. they feel because if you don't have your base, very difficult to score a takedown. And speaking of which, it's been tough to score this round. It's been a challenge scoring all three of these rounds. Yeah. Both guys have done some amazing things. Great pace, great technical fight. Makes my heat up. He said, he, well, let's stand in the center and throw down. That's what Pinedo <laughs> said to him. I love it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Trying to bait Braga into a little bit of a slug fest. I'm here for it. <laughs> There's the takedown. Oh! Pinedo trying to steal this round. We'll see what Braga can do to get back to his feet in the final 10 seconds or so. Works his way up. Pinedo stays right on him. Pinedo finishing strong. Beautiful finish. Jesus Pinedo, Gabriel Braga with an incredible featherweight bout. Kenny, this is only the first fight of the featherweight season. Justin Roberts has the official decision. After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Adelaide Bird scores the bout 29-28 for Pinedo. Judge Sal D'Amato scores it 29-28 for Braga. And Judge Brian Miner scores the bout 29-28 for your winner by split decision and earning three points in the PFL featherweight division, Gabriel Braga! Gabriel Braga takes the win and three points.